here welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new welcome now this is not how i usually record videos but it has been a busy week and i wanted to get this video out for you all so here i am on my way home first of all i wanted to say congratulations to the winner of our t-shirt contest <laughs> We'll be contacting you um, via email, so uh, be on the lookout, check your email so that I can get information, we can get things set up for you. Today I want to talk about something that I noticed um, often comes up in conversation, even in like some of the TV shows that I enjoy watching, and that is in regards to um, preparing for marriage or wanting to be married, getting married, all of those good things. One thing that I often notice is that people um, tend to focus more on, and this is not everyone, but one thing that I have noticed is that people tend to focus more on um, what they want to receive out of the marriage as opposed to focusing on what they can give into the marriage. And that is something that I wanted to bring to your attention today. Um, is just if you are preparing for marriage, wanting to be married, I would definitely encourage you to take time out to think about what you can contribute and what you can uh, give to your future spouse. A lot of times people will say, oh, I'm just looking for someone who is going to, um, you know, I'm looking for someone who's going to love me the way that I deserve to be loved. I want to marry someone who I can be myself around. I want to find that right person that I can go on adventures with, that I can travel with, that I can have fun with. I want someone who's going to be a good parent to my child. You know, all of those things, while they're good and important, you do consider those things. One thing that I don't really hear a lot of is people saying, you know, I look forward to serving my spouse. I look forward to giving to them. I look forward to being a good, you know, husband or wife, depending on if you're a man or a woman, or being a good mom or father. I don't really hear too much of that. And I just wanted to bring that to your attention as well, because I think that it's important. If you go into marriage with the intent of, hey, you know, I'm looking for someone who's going to do this and be this for me then you're not necessarily preparing yourself properly and potentially setting up that relationship for failure. If you're going into it solely with the mentality of what can I get out of a marriage or what can this person do for me? I would definitely encourage you to think more so of how can I give? How can I serve? And when I was preparing to get married to my husband, that is one thing that I really wanted to make sure that I focus on is what can I bring to the table? You know, I look forward to serving him. You know, I look forward to doing this for him. I look forward to being this type of wife, to being this type of mother and focusing on me and the type of person that I was. And that's one thing that I would definitely encourage you to do as well is look, look do like a introspection, introspect and think about yourself and how you can improve yourself to become the best, you know, wife, the best mother, or if you're a man, the best husband, the best father that you can be so that you can go into it ready to serve. Because essentially that's what it is. A good, healthy marriage consists of people who are willing to serve one another and love one another. Love just as the Bible instructs us to do. Now, of course, you do want to pay attention. You want that balance and you want to pay attention to, you know, as you're getting to know this person, are they going to be able to do that same thing. You, you're going to look for reciprocity, of course. Um, but make sure that you look at both sides of the coin. You know, Make sure that you're looking at how I can give, how I can serve this person. And then, of course, you want to pay attention to make sure that that person is going to reciprocate that. Um, and when you go into it with that type of mentality, I think that you're going to be better set up for success. So for me and my husband, I knew I was working on who I wanted to be for him in, in our future marriage. But I also knew that he had that same mentality and that he was also thinking about serving me and being the best husband that he could be and the best father that he could be for our future children. So that it worked out because then we're both thinking about how we can serve one another and both people's needs are being met. OK, 
Okay, so you want to make sure that it's not one-sided and that you're the only one giving and serving and the other person's taking advantage of you. By all means, that's not what I'm saying. You don't want to do that. But make sure that that person is has the heart to serve in their future marriage and you have a heart to serve as well in your future marriage that way you both are covered you're both going to take care of one another and look out for one another and honestly when you have that type of relationship when you have that type of marriage it is a beautiful thing my husband and i share that and i'm so thankful and so grateful for that and that is something that i want everybody to be able to experience that mutual reciprocity that we're looking out for each other we're serving one another and we are a team we work together so that's one thing uh, one thing that I wanted to mention to you all like I said it's been a busy week you see I'm still holding the apple in my hand <laughs> it's been a busy week but I want to make sure I at least recorded a video for you guys um, and that's something that I've been wanting to touch on um, if you have any other like video requests things that you questions that you want me to answer by all means guys let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in the next video bye